What's over here? Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh. Let's continue to go down. It's SCP-087, the stairwell. Um... If this warning stands, walk no further. If this warning stands, our ritual failed. If this warning stands, the sea thing gate remains sealed. Sea thing? This is very... Ooh, thank you. It's very Lovecraftian. Oh. I see. Whoa! Who the fuck is that? What were you doing over there, buddy? Okay. I didn't really pay attention to that map. I probably should have paid more attention to it. Hi. Wait, where am I going in all this? Looks like there's a giant room right up here. Wait. The fuck? The fuck? Okay. Is he an enemy? Like a patrolling enemy? Here we go. Oh! I'll read this. Oh. He's not dead, but eternal lie. The god of strange aeons cannot die. We open the gate, the gate of old. Its guardian eyes have long grown cold. The name of our god, our truth, our key. He is that which is, which should not be. Aha. Uh -huh. The thing which should not be, eh? What? What? Wait, where? What is all this crap? What is all this? Okay, we'll go up then, I guess. Whoa. Whoa! What? Hey, bud. What, uh, what you doing? Sense. Manipulate gate. What? Rotate? Huh, <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Oh, wait a second. It's A and D, not mouse, to rotate. Okay, so... God, that was driving me crazy. So now we got that figured out. Seems like he's standing on... 
square Z. So this should be Z, because the ones in between are square. I see. And so I'm guessing that we find more bodies. We need to find uh, five more bodies and the rest will be lit up. Well, all right then. This really reminds me of Lovecraft. Okay. Maybe it is, I don't know. That would be plagiarism. Anyway. Um, so let's keep going, I guess. Avoid that dude. Wherever he is. Where am I? Uh, okay. We'll go this way. Looking for more bodies. Hey, 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 hey. I inspected you. So we gotta find three more. And I'm guessing we have to avoid that guy. I don't know, maybe he's friendly. I really doubt it though. Seems like he spawns randomly. Where are where are we? Hmm. Keep going this way along the outer wall until I find something. Hey, you. Okay, I found three. There he is over there. I guess he just apparated. Well, he'll disapparate soon. We can move on with our lives. Oh, he's still here. Okay, I don't know, but we'll go this way. <laughs> Jeez, man. Uh, scary. Wait, where am I? This doesn't make any sense. So I go... Let's see, I haven't been up here, I think. Yet. <laughs> that dude's kind of scary. See, I can go to the left here. I haven't been up this middle row. Okay. I'm sure there's a body up here. Body, body, body. No body in this little nook? Come on. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, oh! Body! Found you, body. Alright, we just have one left. But I'm gonna see... Hmm, I'm gonna see if I can't solve it without him. Can we just, like, trial and error it? Yeah, let's follow it. Great job. That guy doesn't spawn in here, I don't think. Alright, now I should see four of them up here. Good job. Well behaved. Alright, so we got diamond, three thing, circle Z. 
So we can go ahead and do those. Uh, that one, that's correct. And then diamond three thing, which is that, but it's not that three thing, it's the other one. That one, we did it. Okay, and then you are Star of David, little twisty thing. Which is this one. Little twisty thing, where are you? That little twisty thing. Alright, so I don't know... I don't know the triangle. Oh shit, I have to find six, I've only found four. Fuck! We need to find two more then. Just gonna cycle through symbols we haven't used yet. Oh! What?! What is that thing?! Okay then. The curse of the sea thing. The Anakian Necronomicon. The iron ore miners had finally found it. But not all of them wanted to perform its ritual and disturb summon the sea thing Nike. One miner realized the ritual would unleash nice flood upon the world. And so the miners had no choice but to stab the others with blade shards of magic Eltdun. Nike, in response, cursed the miner who now wanders the mine, doomed to prevent others from summoning the sea thing and flooding the world forever. Oh. Okay. Ethan, I told you to stay out. God damn it. Look, it's dangerous in here. I'll read your story later. Okay? And, um, please don't tell your mother I'm in here, all right? Okay, now, you go. Get back home. United States Patent and Trademark Office. The United States Patent and Trademark Office has received your January 27th, 1973 letter requesting further explanation as to why your recently submitted patent 527FD or 2D, whatever, was rejected by this office. As we explained in our previous letter, the patent was rejected for infringing upon a previously existing patent. We have on record from you more than four dozen requested patents submitted in the last 16 months. None has been successful and all have been met with challenges by you. Mr. Carter, we would like to consider this matter and future matters administratively closed. Sincerely, James Mockey, Administrative Director. Hmm. We keep going? I guess that puzzle is finished or something.
Nah, there's nothing there. Oh, this is the end. Yep. This is the end. Alright, only one place left to go then. Cozy. Nice and warm. It's like a giant hot tub filled with ooze. I like it. I could feel two kinds of darkness here in Red Creek Valley. The first you walked into and with any luck walked out of. But the other darkness was deeper, stickier, uh, unknowable, and it wanted me to leave. Can you blame it? I kind of want you to leave, Paul. You're kind of annoying the crap out of me a little bit. Well, good thing we get to leave. <laughs> Thanks. Excuse me. Trying to get the fuck out of here. Oh, wow. Hey, we were up in that house earlier. Seems like it was a long time ago, but we were. Here we are. In this damn place. Yeah. Okay, looks like we got a couple of houses to go into. This one? This one? I don't even know which one to go to first. These never give you anything. Damn it. Hey there. I said open. This is a video game. You open when I tell you to. You do what I say. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't expect this. Huh. What if there's another way in? Excuse me. Uh. Yeah, this... That doesn't seem like a way to go. If you look inside, there's nothing in there, though. Well, shit. Maybe we'll find a key or something. Hey, we can actually go to this elevator now. We'll go inside you in a second. I want to check this out. Ah. What if it works? Ooh, don't don't press up. Hey. Scissors. Blood? No. No blood. Well, good thing I found that. Up? Does it work? Oh my god, it does work. Stop. Go down. I don't want to go back up, thanks. That is a nice way to connect to previous parts, though, if you want to go back. I was worrying about that. I was like, do you have to go back through the mines to go back or if you missed something? Like, that's kind of crazy. 
Oh, man. I love abandoned places like this. They're so cool looking. Like, they're creepy. But they look so cool. Go in here. Open? You open? Nope. Do, uh... High voltage. Okay, so this is like the el electrical... Whatever. This doesn't open either. Hmm. Alright, here we go. So the fire axe is on the floor in a room somewhere. Thank you very much. Looks like there's a blood uh, splatter right next to it, though. Is that something? Yeah, there's blood right there. So there was a there was a murder that took place here. I wonder if it. Let's see. So we got Dale in the mines. Did I hear something? It is Dale. He's dead as shit. Punctured throat? So that means that he was stabbed in the neck with some scissors. Well then what about this? It doesn't have any blood on it. Interesting, some of the items early in the game had blood on them, but not later. Scissors. I see. Broken door. Let's go ahead and put the fire axe back. We can piece together what happened here. Man, I'm kind of upset that you can only come in on this side. Wow, mystery solved! Oh man, I was hoping we could like explore the entire house because this place looks huge. Oh well, this will still be fun. Hey. They went outside. Oh no, they didn't. I always think they go further than they do. Travis. He's got the fire axe. He's got the scissors. Travis was a douche. I like Dale. And Grandpa. Oh man. Trapped. So this one, the chronology for this one seems like it's pretty clear. Yeah, it goes all the way back to the mine. Alright, this is... Wait, what? So it seems like this is pretty obvious. It goes one, two, three, four, five, like, leading back to that room, right? Wait, what did I just do? <laughs> okay. This is two. Yeah, right? 
Because why would they move backwards? He got cornered up here. Let's see. Where's my mother? Why are you standing in the sleeper's way? She had an accident. Travis, put down the axe. An accident. I, I didn't want her to get hurt. We're all so sick, you know? Since Ethan found that room. Where's Ethan, goddammit? Talk to me! Okay, okay! He wants to burn Vandergriff's room. Look, Travis, just... Just, just leave me alone! Oh, God. Oh, God! The sleeper chooses vessels. You know that? To enact his wishes? He chose Mom. He chose me. Son, I don't want to hurt you. You think scissors are going to save you? Yes. It didn't have to be this way. He could have helped the sleeper. Helped us. But Mom's right. You're a coward. And you'll be meeting Ethan again soon. What a fucked up family. Man, Paul, you're super good at this. No, come back! No! Where are you going? <laughs> Can't go that fast. Come back! Come back, I say! You over here? Where'd you go? Oh, wait, maybe it's at the other, uh... Maybe it's all the way over here. What's in here? What happened? Is this where he found Ethan? This is probably where Travis found Ethan. Took him back to the train tracks, to the rail car. Oh wow. Alright, well, let's get on down there. This reminds me of that room in The Last of Us, at the dam. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it makes sense. I wonder if this is what they look like. I don't know, I've never been in a... Oh, come on, are you serious? I've never been in a room at a dam. Like this. So I don't know, but... Since I've seen it this way in two games with these different machines and these like walkways and lights and stuff. You disturbed it, not me. Travis, we can get rid of it. I know exactly what we're up against. Don't listen to what's in your head. Yeah, Ethan. This sleeper was feeding on them. Their hate, their distrust. Ethan's father figured suicide wouldn't feed it. But it did. I could feel it sitting somewhere out there, fat as a bullfrog, digesting. Yep. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh. Oh. We're on the other side now. 